What is going on, homies? People call me Johnny Gasm, and I am here today to share with you a conspiracy theory about Sesame Street. I think this theory is pretty interesting because I haven't seen very many theories, if any, on Sesame Street, and Sesame Street is arguably one of the most popular shows in television history. I'm not necessarily talking about statistics and view count, but you can go basically anywhere in America and talk to somebody about Elmo and Snuffy. Not really sure why you would, but I'm saying you could if you wanted to. There is a question that has been asked pretty often throughout Sesame Street's history. That's what kind of bird is Big Bird? After all, he doesn't really look like any bird that we've seen nowadays. Maybe the reason we don't see the bird he's based off of, though, is because it's extinct. Now what kind of bird would that be though? Just in the past 500 years, 190 species of birds have gone extinct. And there were plenty before that. Well, the bird that we're looking at today is called the moa. If we make a comparison between Big Bird and the moa, they do have quite a few physical characteristics in common. They both have really long necks, round bodies, similar looking feet, and they're both big birds. In fact, the moa's nickname is the Big Bird. We can also make a comparison about the average height of a person compared to Big Bird and the average height of a person compared to the MOA. They're really not all that different. We can even take a look at Jim Henson's original conceptualization of Big Bird. He did look a lot like the MOA in his original design, even more than he does so now. And I want you guys to think about this. Big Bird's best friend is Snuffy, a Snuffleupagus which is based off of a mammoth. Maybe both Big Bird and Snuffy were supposed to be two rare extinct animals living on Sesame Street. After all, there's plenty of monsters and even some aliens walking around Sesame Street. I don't think the idea is too out of this world. We can even look at the Sesame Street movie Follow That Bird for even more evidence. Because in that movie, Big Bird goes into the foster care of a family of dodo birds. Dodo birds are also extinct. Maybe the extinction is a common theme with this show. After doing a little bit of research about both Big Bird and the MOA, I did come across some evidence that argues against this theory. For example, the MOA in pictures is more depicted to have been brown and black, but we really can't know that for sure. Also, a bright yellow bird is going to be a lot more appealing to children that the show was targeted at than a just big brown and black bird that might look like a monster. There are also a couple of episodes where Big Bird comes out and says what kind of bird he is. The problem though is that he never sticks with one type of bird. Sometimes he calls himself a canary, sometimes he calls himself a lark, one time he even passed for a turkey. He says the scientific name for his species is Biggest Canarius. So yeah, I don't know if that's the most solidifying evidence about what his species is. I personally am going to subscribe to this theory. Because after I read about this theory and did a lot of my own research, I have to say that I give this theory like a four and a half plausibility out of five. When it comes down to it though, what I believe doesn't really matter. I want to hear what the majority thinks. Make sure you guys leave me your thoughts in the comment section down below. When you're done with that, maybe hit that rate button with a big fat thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified every time I upload another video. If you know anybody else who might enjoy this theory, hit that share button down below. Share it on the social medias. You can also go and follow me on social medias. Links to my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter in the description down below. More important than all of that though, you guys, I just want to say thank you so, so much for watching and blaze for life. Thank you.